Welcome to Type Down, and today I'm going to give you five tips that might help you in Premiere Pro. The following tips I am going to show you are aimed more at the beginner user of Premiere Pro, but even if you're a little more experienced, you may want to stick around because you might just learn something. So say you want to split a clip, but you don't want to use a razor blade tool right there. What you could do is use the keyboard shortcut Control k and it'll split the clip at the current time indicator, and trust me, this will help you a lot. If you use an audio recorder rather than your onboard microphone on your camera, you may already sync up your audio and post, but this could be a time-consuming process. But in the new Premiere Pro, there is a synchronization feature that makes it really easy and fast. All you have to do is select both items, right click and hit synchronize, make sure audio is selected. Then all you do is hit OK and it does everything for you and it does a pretty good job. Now I would suggest deleting the original audio by unlinking it and then simply deleting it. If you're like me and are really bad at color correcting, then the fast color corrector will help you a lot because it makes color correcting your footage so easy. So under the effects tab, make sure you're under fast color corrector, scroll down to where it says black level, click the little eyedropper tool, go over to your footage, and click the darkest part you can see on the footage. Then go back over to the fast color corrector, hit the white level eyedropper tool, and find the whitest part on your footage, and there you go. If you wanted to put some effects on your footage in After Effects, there's an easy way to do this without even rendering. All you have to do is right click and hit replace with After Effects Composition. After Effects will open and your footage is there. Say I wanted to put a fast blur on here and I increase the blurriness so much that it looks real stupid. But if you go back to Premiere, the fast blur transfers. It's the same with any effect and you don't have to render at all. This is probably the most straightforward tip I have for you, but if you have a gap between your footage, I've said footage so many times this episode, nevertheless, all you have to do is right click and hit ripple delete, and there you go, the gap is gone. Look at that. Pretty sweet. Well, that's all I got for you for this episode. I hope you liked it, and please do me a favor and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or you can email me. And that's it. See you next time.